Man, my hair is super crazy right now. Woo! Party time, guys. Welcome back to the ranch, everybody. It is a beautiful day, glorious day. The foundation guys are completely done here. Now it's up to me to get this thing waterproofed and get my drain tile in and get the gravel in and get it backfilled. Now, one of the things I gotta do first of all is you can see how much water is in there in the trench. I got a little Milwaukee M18 transfer pump and we're gonna be using that to get the water out of here. We'll be able to get all the water out of here and then let me get down in the pit here but we've got all these little metal tabs that they use to help hold the forms together. I need to get those all busted off. I'll show you guys how I do it in a second here. I just use a hammer and twist it and they snap right off. Ah, it's hard to do with one hand, guys. So all I'm doing is put the claw of the hammer on it and just twist it a little bit. It's easier with two hands and then the tab just falls off just like that. So it goes pretty quick. I got about half the building done yesterday. I just gotta get the rest done today. I'm gonna go pick up the waterproofing membrane today. Hopefully we'll be able to get going on this pretty quick. And then I can start backfilling because I wanna get going on this house. I'm ready to build. Again, this is the little pump that I'm using. I was actually a little skeptical that it would be able to do as well as it has, but it's really worked out really well for me. I would definitely recommend that, especially for things where you don't wanna have to run cords or you don't have power. This is really, really fantastic. Typically I'm a Makita guy, so I can't be saying this, but I do like some of the Milwaukee tools, uh, specifically that and then some of the finish guns. But anyway, that's a whole nother subject. With this whole waterproofing system, I will I'll have B put in a link to all the different things that we're using for this system. And if you guys have any questions about any of that stuff, just ask because I did used to do this for a living and we dealt with a lot of water in Wisconsin. Seriously, if you have any questions about any of this or questions on how you might need to do something to improve your waterproofing system, put it in the comments because I can give you guys a, at least a little bit of help if you're struggling with, with water, so. All right, so you can see right there, that's where we got the pump. I actually have a 150 foot hose. It's pumping out quite a bit of water. This is about where the low part of the property starts. You can see, got a bunch of standing water right here just from the amount of rain we've gotten. This is all just standing water because the water table is high. There's water on this property. So I always gotta be conscious of how we're, we're setting our property up. And that's why it's so important to have someone who knows what they're looking at. When we first bought this property, actually, I had a completely different set of plans for what we wanted to do. And, uh, oh, there's a big vulture right there. I had a completely different set of plans and Leroy, he broke my dreams, he broke my heart. Yeah, he told me, he's like, that's absolutely not going to work. And that's okay. It allowed us to take a little extra time to think about how we wanted to set it up. Now we've got a really good handle on what we're gonna do with this property. If you have a property, and you don't know exactly what you're doing, talk to other people who have done this because they'll be able to look at what your property is like and give you ideas about what you can and can't do, what you shouldn't do, what they've done wrong. It's so important to lean on people that have done this before. Ask for advice, be humble. That'll help you out with your homestead journey immensely. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the ranch. I had to take a couple days off. I had some things I had to do down south, but I got my first load of gravel here today. I'm going to have a big dump truck come and dump 11 more yards. This is four yards that I got here. And this is gonna be what is going to go around our drain tile system that goes on the outside of the house. Yeah, we're gonna unload this load right here. And then I'm gonna go run and grab a few more things that I need for the waterproof thing in the drain tile system. And we'll talk to you guys soon. All right guys, so what we're doing here is we are essentially taking this four inch perforated pipe right here and it has a, a sock wrapped on it just to keep the holes from plugging up with dirt and debris and sand and everything. We're putting this 
around the height of the puddings, the top of the pudding. And then we're going to put gravel all around this and that will allow the water to have somewhere to go instead of all the water piling up in one spot and having nowhere to go except to go into the foundation, into the crawl space and stuff. Now this water can go all through this pipe and into the gravel and it gives it a lot of time to settle down into the soil. And we're very fortunate here because this is very sandy soil. It's almost all sand actually. That enables us to put a, just a little bit of gravel around this pipe to encase it and the water will settle very quickly into the sand. And we're also, what we're gonna do is we have roll-on waterproofing membrane. It's like a black tar essentially. We'll come out six inches down from the top and go all the way down. Any water that gets onto this will then go straight down, roll off into this drain tile system right here and then soak into that and in the gravel and eventually soak into the ground instead of having water build up and penetrate back into the foundation. Yes, I'm gonna use the tractor. I just wanna get the couple corners started and then I'll be able to just come in with the tractor and dump whole bucket loads in here, which will make my job way easier. everybody it is time to wrap it up for the day here we got a lot done sorry i didn't record all of it because it's the same thing over and 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 over so i did get probably about three quarters of the foundation backfilled it's gonna go a lot quicker now i think thursday i should be able to knock the last little bit of this out and then i can start dumping gravel on the inside so that I can work on interior drain tile system. A lot of this is overkill as far as the waterproofing is going, not necessarily the, the tar, but the drain tile systems that I'm doing, it's overkill, but I figure I might as well just do it now, just in case, and that way I don't ever have to go down here and dig it up again later. That's just the, the construction worker in me, I guess. All right, so we got this last area filled in. I'm gonna go around and kind of grade the edges, make it a little bit smoother for me to walk on. I am not going to spend a lot of time on this because I'm gonna have Leroy and his crew come back and they're gonna do all the final grading because we have to bring quite a bit of topsoil in here. They're gonna do all the final grading. They'll be able to get it done much faster and it'll look much nicer since this is going to be our primary yard for the kids to play in. I want it to be nice and smooth and level not have a bunch of holes where water is going to sit and build up so they're going to come and do that so i'm really not going to spend a lot of time doing much here i'm just going to smooth it out quick and then that's going to be it because i got more important things to do plus i'm hungry and i gotta go to lunch so keep watching there's going to be more fun stuff <laughs> 